In COVID times, the car parade has become an act of kindness for graduations, birthdays, and now for retirements. The one we're about to show you hits really close to home. Our very own Mona Morrow arranged a drive-by, that's BYE, for the woman just about everyone in our building sees every day when, of course, we're not in quarantine. She's the one with her arms spread out. There she is. She sits at the front desk in our main lobby and is sure to get you to smile when you walk through the door. If you've ever called the station or paid us a visit, chances are you have met Mary Luke and Stout. She gave nine years to WCPO 9 News. Love the symmetry there. And she is retiring to spend more time with her hubby and her puppy. So we celebrated her with that drive by, which became a socially distanced but full of warmth drop by. Not surprising because that's just the kind of lady Mary is. It is exciting mm -hmm. and sad because I am leaving wonderful people at a wonderful place. Mary is funny. She's loving, she's patient, she is kind to everyone. And I'm telling you, when you're working the phones, that can be a challenge. <laughs> and Mary isn't our only goodbye this week. Daryl Niederbaumer has been part of the WCPO family for almost six years. He was a little shy about speaking with us on camera, so we spoke with a coworker and friend. For viewers, everything you see in the background is probably done by Daryl and, and other people on our team, but Daryl in particular, um, we had a new control room set up back in, in the fall, and he was a major, major part of that, uh, all the wiring and everything. Mm -hmm. So he's a behind the scenes guy and he's a great guy. And uh, yeah, we're gonna miss him. We wish Daryl and Mary lots of fun and free time, and we sure are going to miss them both.